Cleaning up the streets is just one way to build a better Bay Area. In San Francisco alone, Recology says it collects a thousand tons of trash that ends up in the landfill. 650 tons going into the blue bins and 800 tons into the green bins. That's nearly 2,500 tons of trash generated by San Franciscans every day. And you've seen the video. You've probably even seen it in person. Trash just piling up on the streets, even around garbage cans. Yeah, you might remember this video. ABC 7 News anchor Dan Ashley posted to Facebook showing trash just strewn across the street. Well, now the city is coming up with a plan to fix the problem. ABC 7 News reporter Lauren Martinez has the details. Lauren? Mama and Larry, you know, supervisors took this opportunity to ask city agencies what they're doing to alleviate this problem so they can work together and work towards a citywide plan. You're not convinced that additional trash cans actually make the streets cleaner. Right. It's it's got to be a balance. San Francisco supervisors and the Department of Public Works don't agree when it comes to how to approach one of the city's biggest problems, trash. From our perspective, the biggest issue is really bad behavior. We see lots of illegal dumping at cans. We see lots of pilfering through cans. Supervisor Matt Haney is leading the hearing at City Hall and disagrees with Public Works approach. I, I don't think that the cans themselves um, are causing the illegal dumping. I don't think that it's, it, it stops it when you take them away. If it were up to DPW, there would be more trash cans at bus stops and schools, but not at every corner in needed areas. They're not intended to be this a catch-all for everyone's garbage. Supervisor Haney wants this hearing to address the need for more trash cans, ideally at every corner in high needed areas. A new secure trash can designed to prevent pilfering clearer standards for where trash cans can be placed and removed, and an accelerated timeline to expand Recology Waste and Management's new automatic lock on private bins. This is common sense. This should not be a fight. This should be obvious, and it creates a lot of cynicism when the city can't get something as basic right as a trash can that's available and working. Now, one solution brought forward at this hearing was from Recology, these new automatic lock private bins. Now, customers have a key to these bins, and they can automatically unlock when they're hooked up to a truck. It was a pilot program tested out in the Tenderloin, and so far it appears to be successful. Reporting live in San Francisco, Lauren Martinez, ABC 7 News.